What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Grim Dawn. In this video I'm going to be giving you guys my late, uh, but no less excited impressions of the new mastery that's been announced for the Grim Dawn expansion. And I'm also going to be showing off some differences to the Gunslinger build that uh, that I just made to, to kind of give myself something uh, new to do here in, in Elite difficulty while leveling this build. It's uh, more or less the same as, uh, as the previous version that I just showed you guys, but it has a couple more tricks up its sleeve that I think is going to uh, to make harder difficulties in uh, the the harder boss encounters a little bit more manageable and maybe more interesting in its own way but uh most of you guys probably heard this by now the uh the second new mastery that's going to be put into grim dawn with the uh the expansion is going to be a necromancer and i am so freaking happy to hear that because as most of you guys know i'm a huge fan of pet builds in uh, in rpgs necromancers probably especially what that means for this gunslinger build well to be really honest i mean i, I do want to play this uh this build and push it as far as as i can go uh but uh, admittedly yeah once the the expansion rolls out and once the uh, the Necromancer is playable, that is going to definitely become my main, and uh, and so the Gunslinger will for a time be uh, be left behind uh, as a as an alt build. I was actually already thinking of making a, an alt character to to play in the meantime to just kind of um, I don't know give myself something else to to mess around with here in uh, in Grib Dawn. But uh, I think that uh, I'll just keep pushing with the the Gunslinger build until the. Uh, the the expansion comes out and then I'm gonna be hitting like I said uh, necromancer really hard try to push it as fast as I can to uh, to max level get geared and stuff like that because I, I think that that's gonna be my uh, my main character in uh, in the game uh, so yeah let me talk about the uh, the changes really quick to the uh, the gunslinger build here there's really not that many differences in terms of uh, how for example here the uh, the skills are set up, the passive and actives for the Demolitionist and the uh, the Arcanist tree, but there are a couple of significant differences that add to differences in, in the way that the uh, the gameplay uh, unfolds. So, for example, here we've got the Blackwater Cocktail. This is basically the same idea as the uh, the Flashbang that uh, reduces the target's defensive ability for a few seconds. This one does uh, offensive ability, reduces their offensive ability for a few seconds. So. As an initiator to to combat, like what I'll normally do is I'll go ahead and I'll throw out a uh, a flashbang and also <clears throat> a uh, a blackwater cocktail just to kind of get things rolling. They've also got another uh, addition here to the uh, to the build thermite mines. Now, I wasn't really sure how much I would really enjoy thermite mines, and when I initially started playing them, I was kind of disappointed because I can't like for example throw them out. For, uh, like the the flashbangs at, do at really far distances, they can only go like a few feet in front of you. And then what it does is it, you throw a package out and it splits up into three different mines. Once an enemy tramples over them, they activate. But instead of just exploding, they actually continuously burn upwards. Uh, any enemies that uh, pass through and, and are maybe standing on top of them. And I think that that's the idea: is to try and get enemies. Try and lay out six of these. Max, six is the max. Lay out six of these bad boys, maybe before you start combat, like with a pack of monsters here, right? Get these set up. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So now I've got all these mines laid out, and then uh, initiate combat with the uh, the flashbang, like water cocktail, and then just stand relatively close like this. Ooh, we got a boss here too. Nice. And uh, and watch things burn. Look at that. He fucking melted. <laughs> he was standing there. If you if you were watching really carefully, he was standing there for a few seconds uh, on top of those mines, and they just lit his ass up. And that's the idea, right? Is to get enemies that 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 think that they're smart by coming in and attacking you to make them regret it with their lives, right? Uh, anything that comes close to you is going to get lit up really hard with these uh, these thermite mines. Now. It's going to be, of course, not as useful with uh, any enemies that are are staying at range, or maybe uh, you know less effective with any enemies that uh, will be dancing around a lot, or maybe that you need to, to kite. You know, some of those really harder to uh, to kill, more powerful uh, elites, bosses, and things like that. Uh, it's not going to be that easy. It's uh, it's it's actually going to be uh, quite a challenge, actually, to uh, 
you know, to be dancing around with uh, your pistols, dancing around with your cocktails, your flashbang, your mines and stuff like that, all, all the while trying to, uh, to kite a bit at the same time. Uh, but I think that that's also, for me personally, also gonna make it uh, a bit more fun. Uh, to play. I needed I needed something more here now I think he in, in elite difficulty to uh, to, to give myself uh, some more buttons to push to make things more entertaining. Now I've seen a, uh, a build use the the Blackwater cocktail on the thermite mine so if you want to know more details about that build uh, he just made a, a post about it on the official forums there's a link to it down in the description of this video lays out the Grim Calc and all that stuff for you guys. Now what I'm doing with it is I'm not doing like a perfect copy of his build uh, because I don't believe, for example, that he uses uh, Elixir's Flash Freeze. But I am definitely going to keep uh, Flash Freeze because if anything, I think that it could work even better uh, in combination with the uh, the Third Might Mines because what you can do is you can initiate in so many different ways. I wish I I wasn't standing here at a <laughs> at a safe camp but fighting some enemies to kind of show you what I mean. But let's say for example, let's say for example. Uh, you know, some enemies go ahead and start charging me. So, rather than laying out the mines, you know, because I'm now being threatened, I can freeze them first, right, with the, uh, the mines, and then during that time while they're frozen, then lay out the mines right where they're standing, and since they're already pretty much uh, in position of wanting to attack me, they're really not going to be moving anywhere. So they're going to come out of the freeze, they're going to they're gonna trigger the mines, and then they're going to start getting lit. Like that. Dead. <laughs> of course, those are trash mobs, you know. But that's exactly what I uh, I mean by that. Now, as it is, there's really no point in uh, in throwing out the mines for your basic trash mob encounters like this this white raptor up here. It'll be enough to just go ahead, throw out a, uh, a flashbang, and get to pew pewing. Things are gonna die if they get in, in range. Then unleash the uh, the demon's breath, right? And then this guy. Who was already dead way before the mines came out <laughs> you know he gets flash frozen a couple more shots through his face and then he's dead so the mines are really just there as a uh you know as as a trick up your sleeve an ace right ace in the hole for when uh when you are going to be fighting some more powerful enemies some uh some elite mobs or something like that that's when the, their value is really going to shine uh and your your investment in putting points in there is gonna feel worth it. Uh, until then, yeah, just pew pew, flashbang, cocktails, and GG. <laughs> uh, I would really like to find at least like one more badass to fight. Um, but as as it is, uh, one of I mean one of the good things about uh, about Grim Dawn is that. Uh, Everything is randomized. Every time you step into the, the areas, all of the, the elites are, are completely randomized, their location and stuff like that. And there's another game that I wish would would randomize some uh, some more of its content. Vikings! <laughs> um, and also have a, a more interesting new game plus, the way that uh, Grimdon does. <laughs> uh, but Grimdon is far from a, a perfect game. I mean, a lot of people don't find Grimdon to be enjoyable at all. Uh, whereas I personally... Again, being like a, a more self-found soloist uh, in ARPGs, I really like Grim Dawn for, uh, for what it offers. And uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Uh, late impressions and, uh, and reactions to Necromancer. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait for it. Sorry, Gunslinger. You're going to be coming alt uh, here in the future. Uh, and yeah, the, uh, the Gunslinger build, like I said, that I'm using now, which I think is going to be more fun and a new twist for Elite Difficulty. You can find more details about that in the link in the description of this video. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be posting more Grim Dawn videos leading up to and certainly beyond the expansion. Until then, I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support Grim Dawn here on the channel and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic and I'll see you next time.